So, one more thing I feel that God is saying. He is going to, not about to, going to, prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. That's why during this time, it is very vital for you to discern who belongs in your life and who does not. Because everybody cannot sit at your table and everybody cannot eat with you and everybody will not have a plate made, okay? You're going to be eating a full course (laughs) meal, okay? And God is going to be serving a lot of people on the sidelines humble pie, if you know what I mean. So for everything that your enemies have tried, so for everything that the enemy has tried to use against you, God is using it as your footstool and he's going to raise you up in front of those (laughs) who have wronged you. It doesn't matter if you have forgiven them. It doesn't matter, you know, how big your heart is. It doesn't matter how much you pray for people. You reap what you sow. And at the end of the day, like I said, a lot of these people know the exact things that they did. You know, though I know we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in high places, I understand. However, some people consciously know the damage that they've done and don't even have repentant hearts, okay, or have any real true remorse. And it is for you to wash your hands with certain people and certain things in this season and let God do his job and let God keep his promise to you and you get out the way, okay? In this season, God is going to cause those very people who have wronged you to bless you, right? And see, they're going to think and not even understand why they're doing the things that they're doing. But that's because God is causing it. But just because he's rewarding you through them does not mean they are to be a part of your life. All right? Okay.